welcome to this Nux tutorial on how to install the game and all components and how to run speedruns in single player. So let's just delete our Nux. If you have it purchased, keep it. But I'm gonna show you how to get it free. I have paid this game twice in my life, so I'm not paying it a third time and especially to GOG website, which I don't even know what that is. So yeah, you're gonna go to your uh, folder and uninstall it, but also go to where you install GOG games and delete the whole folder. Okay, next you will have to actually install the game. This is first of all the torrent how you would download it so through the torrent so you're gonna grab that first and then you're gonna hang to the website where you get the game free so that is the GOG uh, most recent version with which uh, allows you to do both some glitches which will save you time or if you prefer to play the game without glitches which is what I'm currently doing the glitch list speedrun for warrior uh, this is also the, the best version although uh, on this 1.2 version all the fireballs deals twice the damage so if you play against mages you will also take twice the damage but that is totally fine because on the leaderboard both warriors that did the speedrun played in 1.2 and both 1.2 version and the 1.0 are accepted on speedrun.com so i'm just installing it uh, you just follow the steps and it's very quick so then you would need nox solution so hang out on this website noxcommunity.com download and go to main and then the second is nox solution so you're gonna click it it will automatically download okay so you will have to install this too uh, so click on it and here remove Westwood Online because this is meant for multiplayer and multiplayer is dead. So only the SDL patch will stay and will be downloaded for you. Uh, this does remove a lot of visual bugs and enables recording. If you don't have this, you can't record or it, it will be very messy. So just uncheck and let's just merge those two files that you downloaded so the game Nux by going to the Juju games and to no copy and everything and back to Juju games Nux and then copy paste in it and replace all files then you would have to check if it works Usually everything will run smooth, no visual bugs, and all the dialogues, the voice acting would be available on your Windows 10. Okay, this step is very important. So go to your game location, Knox, and find uh, this launch Knox with the administrator icon on it and make a copy and send it to your desktop. Because the default Nox with the, the other icon or image doesn't work when you try to, to find it through the recording software, so Streamlabs OBS. And yeah, you're gonna download that Streamlabs software, so just go to the website, once you get it, uh, a very important step to make it work is go to properties and find compatibility. Then you would have to have this check on around this program as administrator or else it just won't work. Once you open this, the stream elements, you would have to create a new scene, but I think it's already created by default and go to sources and add the game capture and just click add source you would need to drag it to the bottom of all sources and in 
by double clicking it you would have to check all of those squares besides the top one so keep them checked and you would go into mod capture a specific window and in window we would find your game so for now i have mock because i don't have knocks opened now let's add the timer so go to add the source and click on window capture this will allow you to capture your life split as you play the game so the time will count and you will see the exact time that you spent in the game and last step go to the life split website and download it and this is what mine looks like you can of course uh, modify some some settings such as this is the splits I have 11 splits but I decided at the end that I will not have that many just one is alright and here's the layout so your title your image behind the colors of of everything this is where you get the image for example and just look around how you would like it to look like you would also need to go to settings and there configure those hotkeys for example the start of the life split all right let's test this out so i just cleaned my time on the timer with the hotkey and we're gonna start it again so the speedrun doesn't start right now and I'm gonna remove the wasted time in the menu afterwards. So let's choose the warrior and about now the timer should start counting. So you already hear the, the music noises and sounds, which means that everything is working. Recording is working in HD sound. The graphics are not buggy at all and you can record with the timer on. So let's say I'm done recording because I'm at the end of the game and I'm done with the speedrun. I'm gonna go click Alt tab. I'm gonna stop the timer with the hotkey, reset it and I'm gonna click close recording uh, and recording.